This year, 2020, we have been tested and endured as a country in ways that we never before experienced. COVID-19 has reminded us about the fragility of life and how things can change instantly. This coronavirus has disrupted our way of life, destroyed the livelihoods, and has taken to date the lives of five of our citizens. It has also exposed underlying strengths and weaknesses in our country, which should provide focus for leverage and corrective action. We have shown ourselves to be a resilient people with the fortitude to persevere and to be patient in difficult and frustrating times. And so there is hope that we'll come through this pandemic in a better place, notwithstanding all the challenges that we face. But to do so, there are changes we must be prepared to embrace because they provide us with the best chance of a better future. We must respect each other, even when we differ politically. Respect our institutions, which support the common good of our people. Look out for the most vulnerable in our midst and be always ready to promote and celebrate what is authentically St. Lucian. Together, we can, as a St. Lucian people, make our unique contribution to the development of humanity. As we celebrate the season with a difference, let us remember the future and reflect on the coming year. We must plan and choose carefully the decisions that we'll be called upon to make. We must always be truthful with the youth the vulnerable, and the challenged in our country. As a country, we must plan for life after this pandemic. The managing director of the World Bank, David Malpass, has blamed high government debts for difficulties in getting money to the people. We must take heed of this warning. My special thanks and gratitude to my constituents of Castries East for another year of unflinching support and encouragement. Without you, my greater responsibility to the wider solution public would not be possible. May you all have a blessed Christmas and a bright 2021. To my sisters and brothers of the Solution Labour Party, my thanks for your loyalty and support during the year. May you have a happy Christmas and that 2021 be a year for a new beginning putting you, the people first. Fellow solutions, I am well aware of your current challenges. However, let this Christmas be a time of reflection and thanks for the gift of life, and let us embrace opportunities life presents to us for a new beginning and a better quality of life for the people of St. Lucia in 2021 and beyond. I thank you. <music>